They chant a Hubris. Don't mind that a ton. One Kirby did. Okay. Okay. Okay, interesting. So they're passing. I don't have Amber Control options in Untamed. Hmm. And they got rid of my Kirby's. Very sad. So I could go untamed. Bounce their stuff. Could go untamed to bounce their dinos. Fight with everything except for Val Chan and Jarda first to put Val in the center and then play this city state <clears throat> to capture uh, three. And I'm going to have to fight with, okay, so the Bramble Lynx will, uh, okay, I don't have to fight with the Bramble Lynx because I'll be able to play some untamed creatures, so I don't have to fight with everything. That's something. So fight, fight, but I need Val in the center, and I will not be able to get rid of this Jarda or this Bramble Lynx. Oh, but wait. I'm going to give JDG an okay thinking. <laughs> with, a, with a winky face, you know. <laughs> yeah, this will be this will be interesting. Uh it's going to put them on the spot. So they've got the TMTP, but Mug and Pestering Blow are gone. I don't think they have another way in shadows to kill a creature out of hand, right? So they've got the uh, special delivery, which could come later, and then no safety in numbers. Hmm. No safety in numbers is problematic if I have three. If I have three untamed creatures, I can't get rid of this Bramble Lynx, but I have to get rid of everything else and discard the Tantadlin. I'm not going to play Punk on the off chance that it gives them that one draw. Yep, that's the plan. Let's do it. Okay. Untamed. Yes to the archives. Uh, all of these have to go. Luckily, my opponent has this really yummy... Ooh, do they all have to go? I guess I could leave one. Yes, because the Odawak's going to die once I bounce Tribune Pompidus. As is the Thero. Okay, so I don't actually have to bounce either of these. I just need to make sure that Tribune Pompidus gets bounced. These are going to die as a result. And I'll have to fight into the Sanitation Engineer and Igor. And then make sure my Rusnar doesn't inadvertently kill a thing that I don't want it to kill. Okay, cool. So fight here. Uh, that means that I can leave some creatures living for uh, Veral Jericho by bouncing them too. So that's cool. Fight here. How many do I actually need? Bounce. Two. So I'm going to leave 
two on board. There's one in here already. I can already play one, two. So I have two creatures in hand to play. And I'll pick up two more. So I'll pick up four potentially. Okay, cool. So I just need one more creature, I think. Actually, do I even pick up two? That leaves two on the side. No, I can just reap it out. Just check their twin bolts as well. They've played a twin bolt. I'm going to be getting <laughs> 20 amber. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's see. Although they'll be... Yeah. Sure. Heal you there. Nature's Call bounces. These two. Now I need to play Pose Pixies. Tintodlin. And I have two more creatures to play. So let's play you. Oh, no. Uh, I got ahead of myself um, and f completely forgot to play around the no safety in numbers, which uh, I had said I would do, and now I did not. So that is really sad. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I really hope that doesn't end up being the uh, decider. Uh, so let's put the amber on the creatures that are gonna survive. Though again, if they have the no safety, it's, uh, if they have the no safety and the TMTPs, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that was a really, uh, really bad misplay. Oof. Yeah, I got ahead of myself with uh, with the plans and then got over eager. Bummer. So now, interesting question, right? Uh, they have seven in hand, five in deck. I made this mistake where I think if I had left the if I had left the uh, creatures, uh, if I left myself with no more than two untamed creatures, would it have been? Uh, correct to play the punk here, and I think the answer is no. Um, but now I'm staring at seven in hand, five in draw. The situation is what it is. I think I am. Uh, I think it is correct for me to play the punk, even though if I had played this correctly, uh, uh, I should not play it now. But uh, I didn't, so here we are. And I really do want to know what they have in hand. Uh, so I'm going to ask them to let me know before I play the punk. So I'm asking them to let me know what they're discarding. And I'm committing to playing the punk, so, okay. Oof. And hoping that they either have both, uh, <laughs> uh, both, uh, uh, team TPs or the, or the no safety. I think if I hit, 
<laughs> I think that's legit, right? I should get to see what they discard. Uh, but I guess it doesn't matter. They'll either they'll either have or they won't. Um, uh, maybe they think I'm joking. Well, it doesn't matter a ton. Oh, that's really cool. So I redrew. Uh, oh, they discard. Okay, so it tells me. Ah. So that's cool. I was going to say, now I have this other PE that I can use. Uh, so what did we get? We hit a too much to protect, a too much to protect Ronnie. And the seventh card was the... Okay, cool. So they have the no safety in numbers in hand. Uh, which is okay. It's going to kill Molfin, Bramble Lynx, Jarda. So let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. F Amber coming back. Okay, so I don't think I care about punking away the no safety, although... Okay, so they're going to play the no safety. I'm going to lose my untamed guys. I think I am okay with that. I'm going to keep the punk because I will have uh, the Jericho in the middle. Not quite in the middle. But keeping the punk. Can't bring myself to discard it here. Okay, so we hit both TMTPs. That's fortunate. Um, I still, even even if I had known that both TMTPs were in hand, I would have much rather not had to go down that line. Um, you know, I'd love for them to be staring at those TMTPs, Ronnie, and uh, not having much to do about it. Um, yep, so there's the no safety that we knew was coming. And... Breaker Hill, okay. Nothing in archives. I mean, don't care a whole lot about uh, See, you. is there anything I could PE into? I think I'm just happier knowing that they have less chance of having either TMTP. They held. And now they discarded the Ronnie. Okay. Interesting. And can I get this one into discard? Oof, tricky. I think I'm just going to go sorry in here, move some more cards, and uh, blow up that special delivery with the, with the Rusnar. Yep. Ooh, there's a there's a case to be made for putting on here. I may regret not putting on there, so I changing my mind. Changing my mind. <clears throat> Using this action to fight, blow that up. Um moving on to the thing I've done this for and playing on to Jarda, reap with Jarda to use the universal translator, fight the breaker, sure, discard. 
Ooh, double punk. Never like to see that. Okay. Did they get ATMT back with a way to steal one more? <laughs> or, yeah, so TMTP plus, uh, wow, there's the TMTP. Oh, whew, what a game. Wow. Brain burner indeed. Um, yeah, I uh, I very nearly punted that one. It was uh, I talked myself into <laughs> into some unfortunate plays. Um, but all right, yeah. If I had not left myself exposed to um, to the no safety, I think that would have been um, a very very sure win. Um, but here we are. It was exciting. Did it for the drama. Did it for the views. There we go. Love it. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. So I'll take I'll take a win there. I may not have deserved it with my misplay, but I'll take it. And on to game three. Um, and it has <laughs> passed my bedtime. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have at least at least one kid that's going to be waking up soon. We'll see how this goes. Um, but okay, so Lorien and, and Brickblade used. Uh, we've seen the bird and Sagacious. And if I'm remembering the spreadsheet correctly, that means that Aslan has only good matchups left for my estimation. So, uh, all right, on to game three. And it's going to be uh, Aslan for me. So I was I was happy to see the bird there. It meant that um, uh, Aslan had only good matchups left, and otherwise I would probably not have played it and been struggling through another brain burner with Comber Grief. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, the games we need timers for, right? Um, I don't know. I, uh, I, I should check the running time on that game. It, it felt long to me, but maybe that's because I was sweating. Although I think, uh, um, maybe I'm yapping too much. I don't know. But, uh, it was a fun one. I'm glad that, uh, Glad that it wasn't decided by a timer early on, because it would have been really sad. Wow. Uh, wow. So they're deciding. Uh, this one will be much quicker, one way or another. So they've got Daniela Sombra, uh, a very high, a very sassy MM deck. It has some taxing capabilities in... Uh, <clears throat> And Autovac and Universal Keylock, Pismire. Okay, so could pose some some issues with those, but otherwise, I'm feeling decent about the chances here. But let's see how this goes. And sorry if there's any background. My uh, youngest is deciding that now is a good time to say hi to the world. Okay, uh, this is an easy mulligan. Mm, yep. Ooh, it's coming right off the bat. Hate to see that, but here we are. Okay, okay. Going back into this. Gonna see if I can make some amber. Get my reaps in before the amber imp comes down. Gonna discard this bullet eye. Play the amber imp and pass.
Okay, really happy to see this three fates. I would love to go back into this and run out the three fates. I'm also pretty happy with the logos here. Um, if I have to go that route. That growth surge actually makes me kind of happy. I'm, yeah, I'm super happy to go back into this here after they take out my key imp or ember imp, reap out, and then uh, uh, deal with some of the bigger creatures on board. Okay, we see binate number one. It's a very likely archive candidate. They're welcome to chomp through my dudes with Fangtooth Cavern if they like. And yeah, really interesting decision here too, if they manage to um, not go to check or, or take me off check with some sort of taxing. I guess they could play an Infernus, they could play a Waking Nightmare. Um, should I just lean into the Binite without Graft here? A little suspect. But if all they do is Infernus, then I, I may swindle them. Okay, I lose one. Yeah, having your opponent <clears throat> lose one. Or leaving your break opponent at five is, is always uh, feels, feels a little scary, you know? But yeah, this is really interesting. I could allow them a first key without grafting, play the Binite Rupture, archive it immediately with Researcher. Um, I'll gain five, they'll gain four, they'll grab a key. Um, I'll get out ahead of the deal. Uh, or I just go for the efficiency Okay, implosion leaves them at five and now six. Okay, so likely not doing that, but that's cool. Okay, I'm fine with this. I'm just gonna go shadows and swindle them. Not that card, the swindle, yes. Let's see if they play key lock. I don't think I mind key lock so much. Lethologica takes bot booked in. Very sensible. Okay, they played the key lock. Wow. I don't hate that. I mean, um, I think I'll just sit here until they uh, want to f allow me to forge. Or will they want to take the forge? Hmm. Do I, though? Hmm, really interesting. Let's go Logos. 
Ooh, this is really tempt this is really cool. So I'm gonna bind it here. They're gonna go to twelve and break the key lock. I'll get the sixteen. Yeah. Very yummy. So let's binate. Uh, let's grab that binate from discard pile. Let's archive throwing stars, scullion, and hope to draw into a graft. Okay, not yet. But don't hate that. Don't hate that. And <clears throat> so if I forge it's if I forge for six, uh, even if they even if they are able to um, hmm, even if they are able to uh, I was going to say, even if they're able to, if I give them the key, yeah, I don't think I can binate here without graft. They'll be ahead. They're kind of ahead in the race. Uh, you always want to be up on keys as the big player and trading stuff here. But I would have options. The miasma would be good. Uh, to kind of win the win the race. So maybe I do brig and then hope to draw into the miasma. Hmm. If they don't get to check here. That's a tough call. We'll, uh, we'll see what they we'll see what they do before going too deep in the tank. They're taking their archives. Okay, ten cards in hand. Let's see the harbinger. They have Song of the Wild. Gosh, they've got double bot booked in. Do they have a? Okay. Playing Lost in the Woods. Interesting. And they have a key frog coming at some point. Ugh, gross. There's the key frog. It's gonna give them that key. Wow, really nicely done. Really nicely done. So I make a red key. <laughs> yeah, should have played. <laughs> yeah, they say they messed up the order with Song of the Wild. Should have played it before. Um, should have played it after the Harbinger, certainly. Um, they'd be at eight here instead of six. It's not gonna matter. I don't think I have a way to stop them in shadows or in uh, any of my houses here. If I had the miasma, it would be an interesting game. Uh, miasma or the nerve blast, but I do not. So I can dig with the Igor. That's not gonna do it. Hmm. Yeah, no options, unfortunately. Uh, so let's just for fun uh, play the binate. <laughs> oh, nerve blast. There's the nerve blast. Okay, we'll take the nerve blast instead of the TMTP just for fun. All right, well done, JDG. Yeah, stealing that key with key charge was great, um, but good game, yeah. Good game, JDG and D. Uh, really needed 
really needed uh, the neuroblast there or the miasma, but yeah, their key frog really took them out, took them out in front. Cool, very cool. Well, we'll wrap it up there. It's been a long journey. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, a longer one than usual, but uh, fun times. And uh, we'll see you all for the on the sloppy lab. Thanks, peeps. Thanks for tuning in. Good night. <laughs>